Hello guys and welcome back to Halo. Today I'm going to show you how to wake online team viewer and how to set it up on Windows. Ages ago, tech pioneers envisioned a world with a computer in every household. Today, not only that that vision come true, but many of us have to micromanage multiple computers in the same household. Thankfully, solutions like TeamViewer enable us to wake up and remote control any computer in our local network from our primary PC. Let's see how. To do this, we're going to be using a tool called Wake Online. This will let us wake up a PC using a special wake up packet over the local network. Unfortunately, setting up Wake Online is not as simple as turning a single switch on. Still, it's worth a bit of time and effort. For without it, solutions like TeamViewer are often rendered redundant. After all, what's the point of trying to remote control a second PC in your local area network if you have to turn it on in person? As an extra security measure, Wake Online is usually disabled by default. However, we need to make the most amount of use from TeamViewer. So, to use Wake Online, you must ensure all related features are enabled. In your computer's BIOS, in the computer adapter's driver settings and in the operating system settings and sometimes even in your router. Since this video is about TeamViewer, the app needs some extra configuration too to be able to wake up your computers remotely. However, the result is worth it since it is enables complete remote control of any PC on your local area network without getting up from your comfortable chair. You can turn an offline computer with TeamViewer via Wake Online. This way, you can control an offline computer remotely by waking it up before you establish a connection. Wake Online can be used through two different methods. 1. Wake up a computer via another computer within the same network. Or, wake up a computer via its public address. This Video describes the necessary requirements and steps to use TeamViewer Wake Online. Unless stated otherwise, the functionalities described always refer to the TeamViewer full version of for Microsoft Windows. In order to successfully wake up a computer by Wake Online, its hardware must meet several requirements. The following checklists are the computer is connected to a power source, the computer's network card supports Wake Online, the computer has an internet connection and it is connected to the internet via a network cable. The computer is one of the following power status, sleep, hibernation, shutdown. If these requirements have been met, you can move on to configure your computer and the software in the next steps. Setup on Windows. In order to wake up the computer, it must be appropriately set up. Several settings must be adjusted on the computer for this purpose and TeamViewer must be correctly configured. 1. Configure the BIOS. To activate Wake Online in the BIOS, follow these steps. Start the computer, press F2 key to access your BIOS setup. Open the Power tab, activate the Wake Online option. Save and exit the BIOS setup. If there is no option to activate Wake Online in the BIOS, check the manual of the motherboard to make sure that it supports the feature. 2. Configure the network card. The computer's network card must be configured in such a way that it is supplied with power at all times. It may be necessary to adjust the properties of the network card for this purpose. Administrative rights are required for this process, and configuration of the network card can vary depending on the type of the network card and operating system version. Start the computer, open settings, go to devices, under related settings click the device manager link. Under the network adapters choose the properties option in the contacts menu. Open the power management tab and activate allow this device to wake the computer option. The network card now supports Wake Online. If the option described in step 7 is not activated, 
you must first activate the allow the computer to turn off the device to save power option. You also need to deactivate fast startup for this to work. To do that, start the computer, open the control panel, click system and security. Under power options, click change what power buttons do link. Click on the change settings that are currently unavailable link and check the turn on fast startup box. Fast startup is now deactivated. Now let's head to setting up team viewer. Run team viewer and click on the menu button on the top left of its window to access the main menu. From there, choose extras and options. Stay on the general tab and enable the option start team viewer with windows. This will have team viewer run as a service, allowing you to start remotely controlling this computer even before logging into the de desktop. To remotely control this PC without manually granting access to incoming connections, you must assign it to your TeamViewer account. Click Assign Account button and enter your TeamViewer account credentials in the Windows tab pop-up. Click on Create Account if you don't have one. Finally, check on the Configure button next to Wake Online under Network Settings. You will take a trip back to the primary computer, run TeamViewer there, and check its computer ID. Return to your target PC and enable other TeamViewer within your local network. Enter your master PC's ID in the field under TeamViewer ID and then click on the button Add on its right. You will see a master PC TeamViewer ID added to the list below. Click OK and store the changes. Technically, you are all set. Initiate a first remote control session from your main PC while your target PC is still on. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.